Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to give you, um, to bring to you another property related video. What I wanted to share with you today are, I guess, one and a bonus, um, a bonus principle on what you, how you will know whether or not you can actually afford a mortgage. And the question of like, can I really afford it? Would I be able to afford it? That question um, is a massive question for, I guess, almost any first time buyer. Like for some reason, mortgages just feel so grand and so big compared to paying rent. A lot of us, um, you know, that, that fear of, I guess it's the fear of repossession, like having your house taken away from you and that's, you know, you being left destitute, destitute or whatever. Um, it's that kind of fear that adds a lot of fear around the whole mortgage process. So what I wanted to share with you are, is basically one main principle that I came across when I was doing all of the research that I was doing when I was um, buying our house. And um, I found this really useful from a financial point of view because it gave me a bit more confidence in the decision I was making about getting a house and having a mortgage. So the principle is how much of a percentage your mortgage should be of your take home or your net pay. Um, this principle I believe is really useful and really um, practical because none of us want to have you know pay a mortgage and then we're left with hardly any money left to pay for things like groceries you know commuting luxuries all the other things we need to buy or pay for after paying for our mortgage so i do feel like this principle is a surefire way of knowing that yes you will have enough money left after you pay for the mortgage each month to spend on all your other necessities and luxuries or no you will not have enough money left look for another mortgage provider or look for another deal from a, a different lender etc and of course your mortgage broker should be guiding you on the most affordable mortgage products that are on the market at the time that you are looking um they should be advising you on you know there are cheaper products available have you considered this you know i've found this product x y and z but sometimes you need to check what your mortgage broker is telling you sometimes you need to do your own due diligence and your own research and just like triple check like is what they're saying does it does it actually make sense so i can't actually remember where i found this principle to be honest um i was just doing so much research about so many different things um on, on my journey so I can't remember where I came across this but I know if you research it if you research or if you search for it online you will come across the rule um, and let me just say what the rule is before you know I'm, I'm just rattling on a bit here so the rule is that your monthly mortgage should be no more than 25% of your take home or your net um, income and of course if you're buying a house with a partner combine your incomes and then your monthly mortgage cost should be no more than 25% of your combined net income. So for example, if your sole income or if you are making a joint purchase, if, you, if you're making a joint purchase, if yours and your partner's incomes, let's say it totals £4,000 a month net, then 25% of that is £1,000. So your monthly mortgage should be no more than £1,000 if you want to try and stay within the realms of this is an affordable amount to pay. I will not have to struggle to pay for everything else once I've paid for the mortgage. Knowing that you're not overstretching yourself, you're not buying a house that is too much or you're not paying a mortgage that is gonna cost too much. So try and stick with that rule. No more than 25% of your net income. Very simple, you can work it out, Excel spreadsheet, calculator, whatever you need to do. Try and stick to that. Um, and just, I guess, a bit of transparency. My husband and I, we came across this principle um, a bit too late, actually. <laughs> we had already um, signed our lives away to our first mortgage um, product. Um, and actually, our monthly mortgage is 26 and a half 
um, percent of our monthly our net income so we're slightly over the rule um, but I don't think a percentage and a half makes a massive difference as long as you're around and about that 25 percent benchmark I think it should be okay but definitely next time when we have to when our current mortgage product expires we definitely will be trying to make sure that the next deal we get is probably bang on or even less 25 percent of our take-home pay um, and then the second principle that I came across this is kind of like the bonus principle for you um, this is in relation to both your monthly mortgage and your household expenses I came across this principle um, when I discovered a US based financial advisor and mortgage provider lady called um, Jennifer Beeston she um she had this i think it was listed on her website or i heard it in one of her videos and i think it's a really useful principle to be aware of and to kind of like stick to as well and what she said um is that our monthly mortgage or your, your monthly mortgage and your monthly household expenses should be no more than 35 to 40 percent of your take-home pay so um again combine your income if you're buying with a husband a partner etc or if you're buying by yourself it shouldn't be more than 35 to 40 percent of your take-home pay and actually jennifer she specifically says that your combat your monthly expenses um your household expenses and your monthly mortgage they shouldn't be any more than ideally 40 percent but i have seen other people say and um, go even lower and say they shouldn't be more than 35 percent so that's why i'm giving you the 35 to 40 percent um so that's another principle i think it's you know useful just to do your calculations and see you know perhaps are you spending too much on your mortgage? Should you be looking at cheaper houses? Therefore, your mortgage should hopefully be a bit cheaper. Um, both of these principles are just um, things to be aware of, especially because I know we as first-time buyers, we are just so um, we, we're so diligent about the decision that we make as to what kind of house to buy, how much is it, how much our monthly mortgage will be, etc. None of us want to make mistakes here and um, a lot of us worry about will we be able to afford it, will we have enough money left, etc. So hopefully me sharing these two principles with you now will give you a bit more confidence in your decision about actually, yeah, like if my mortgage is X, Y and Z, pounds or dollars a month I will have a B C amount of money left to spend on my other expenses and therefore it's roughly 25% I'm in going in the right direction or actually if you realize that your monthly mortgage is going to be 40% of your take home pay or 35% or whatever um, that can be a red flag and you know a sign for you to maybe save up a bit more so that you will not have to borrow as much money um, or perhaps look for cheaper properties um, or speak a bit more to your mortgage broker about what other dealers are available to you so a bit of financial um, guidance here not a financial advisor but just a bit of guidance um, pointing you in the right direction hopefully for you let me know if this video was helpful I definitely found um, found these principles helpful and I will continue to use them when we buy our future properties or you know if and when we decide to move etc um, so yeah let me know if you found it helpful by leaving a comment below don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more property and adulting related videos. I will see you soon. Take care and God bless.